This is Jane McNeil of Elsevier Global Medical News. I'm with Dr. Maddie Apro, who had some concerns about using IV iron in anemic cancer patients. Dr. Apro, what are your concerns? Well, IV iron clearly increases the response rate to ESAs. The problem today is that we don't have long-term follow-up on these patients. We have no idea of whether these patients might have cardiac toxicity when they receive cardiac toxic drugs and iron at the same time because of the effect of iron on the, my on the cardiomyocytes. We don't know whether iron is going, yes or no, increase the risk of infections, which has been reported in other settings, and we don't know what is the effect of iron on tumor growth, whereas we have data that show that chelation of iron might actually decrease tumor growth in clinical models. Dr. Auerbach has just reported that cancer patients respond more quickly to an ESA when it is given with IV iron. Dr. Auerbach, most oncologists don't use intravenous iron. Why not? I believe there is a generalized misunderstanding about the clinical nature and frequency of serious adverse events that occur with IV iron. There are now six studies that show that IV iron is virtually completely safe and effective, and yet the, the lack of dissemination of adequate education on this subject to oncologists and hematologists um, leaves them with the impression that there's still significant danger when there is not. What would be the implica economic implications of a change? In every single study that actually looked at the money involved when IV iron is added to ESAs, the estimate is somewhere around $100 per patient per week. Now Saving. Savings. Now let's turn that into real numbers for the United States where, the, where I know the numbers. There are 492,000 people getting ESAs in the United States, an average of oh, 8 to 20 weeks per year. That's just a guess, guesstimate. It's over a billion dollars. Okay. In pure savings for a drug, and that includes the cost of the iron administering the iron, the tubing. We actually did that analysis in my office. We saved $1,301 per patient per 12-week period during ESAs plus iron. That's doing it exactly like everybody else, but adding the IV iron, I get there sooner, and I use lower doses of ESAs.